Snowball, Napoleon, and Squealer. These three had elaborated Old Mage's teachings into a complete system of thought to which they gave the name animalism. Several nights a week after Mr. Jones was asleep, they held secret meetings in the barn and expounded the principles of animalism to others. At the beginning, they met with such stupidity and apathy. Some of the animals talked of the duty of loyalty to Mr. Jones, whom they referred to as master, or made elementary remarks about Mr. Jones feeds us. If he were gone, we would starve to death. Others asked such questions as, quote, why should we care what happens after we're dead? Or, quote, if this rebellion is to happen anyway, what difference does it make whether we work for it or not? And the pigs had great difficulty in making them see that this was contrary to the spirit of animalism. The stupidest question of all were asked by Molly, the white mare. The very first question she asked Snowball was, Will there, will there still be sugar after the rebellion? <laughs> Marcus Conti reporting. Little animal farm for you. Prophet from the past, George Orwell, speaks again to us. He's always been watching us, I think, Orwell. At least watching me. He comes to me in the night and speaks to me, like Howard Hughes did in the desert when I was seven. You heard? I have Orwell in my ear. Hmm. So this is a hard subject. This is, um, it's hard for me. It's difficult. Tough love. I'm going to give a little tough love today. Watch out. A little tough love. I'm going to blow up, uh, blow up a couple of things. Right. Little Socrates. Got to explore the Explore the other side. Explore the, the argument here. What the hell is going on in our election 2016? Bernie Sanders. Rebellion. You heard, you heard, uh, you heard the white mare, mare say, Will there still be sugar after the rebellion? Rebellion. That's what we're talking about. Bernie Sanders. Time for Bernie Sanders to get tough. It's crunch time, Bernie. It's crunch time, Grandpa. You're not doing it. Bernie Sanders is floundering right now. That's right. In 2015, no, I'm sorry, 2016, 2015, excuse me. In the summer of 2015, Bernie Sanders was a rock star leading into the primary, the winter primary, the February primaries. He was already a rock star. He was far, far out in front of everybody with, without any name recognition whatsoever. And now he's playing second fiddle to Elizabeth Warren. Forget about Joe Biden. Joe Biden is the corporate pick. Joe Biden is the, is again, Hillary Clinton with a dick. But the problem is that Bernie Sanders is giving away his lunch to Elizabeth Warren. She's eating your lunch, Bernie. Elizabeth Warren is eating your motherfucking lunch. And you're letting it happen. Oh, she's my friend. Oh, no, no. No, see, these people, they're my friends. Elizabeth Warren, oh, no, I know her for years. Elizabeth. Elizabeth, no, no, we're friends. And meanwhile, she's taking your lunch. But worse than that, worse than just personality taking getting in front of your crowd entertaining your crowd and putting their putting your crowd in her pocket is what she stands for Elizabeth Warren is a turncoat there's no there's no escaping that I'll read off some some stuff right so the um, reporter good reporter getting much better uh, you know he stays in his lane is a uh, Political commentator Jordan Charidin, I believe his name is, from the Young Turks. He's now um, status coup. I, I saw a video and he, he assessed Elizabeth Warren pretty well. Where I would disagree is that he said, oh no, it's not time for Bernie to get rough. 
Jordan Sheridan, you're wrong. It is m so much time right now for Bernie to get rough. It's 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 almost too late. He's losing he's losing traction with this. They're my friends. Oh no no, they're my friends. Uh, so Jordan says, um, and this is true. Elizabeth Warren took big donor money during her Senate run in 2018. Now she claims she claims to not take big corporate money, big donor money going to the donations, but going to the you know to those um, to the places where rich people meet, the Hamptons, Manhattan, you know, uh, Silicon Valley, right? You go out there, and I'm gonna go the, go the other way because I don't like people following me while I'm trying to talk, fucking people. So she took big money from our Senate run in, 20, in 2018. And now she claims, oh no, no, I don't take that money. I don't take that money. Let's rail against taking big money. That's who Elizabeth Warren is. Right? She took the money, established her, her, her um, ground game in Iowa, places like Iowa, paying people a lot of money to get the thing going and now she's she's in a position where she's almost in a leadership role in the in the election you see what's happening Bernie she screwed you she took the money she established a ground game and now oh yeah Bernie Sanders oh no he's he's yeah she's ignoring you she's ignoring you and she's going she's trying to derail Biden and she's talking to Hillary Clinton getting Hillary Clinton support how fucking corrupt is that she's playing the people like a flute see I went to the convention I went to her rally Bernie I went to Elizabeth Warren's rally and those aren't the smart people those aren't the people that know what's going on in politics they're they're a washed down version of mainstream consciousness they're, the, they're the, the sleepy masses that they don't know the policies they just think Elizabeth Warren is great and she's a woman and she could beat Trump that's not the smart people that are are gonna rally and that's what it takes to beat Trump you need the grassroots the grassroots is not coming on board really to anybody and what's the reason what's the problem Bernie it's you shot yourself in the foot, man. You, you sold out in 2016. And people never forgave you for that. You sided with Hillary Clinton. You failed to call out the election fraud that was being committed against you. You, you said Russia did it. Russia hacked the election. See, I thought it would be overcomable that people could would overcome those obstacles we would they would look they would look us they would put those things aside to get the policies in place but it turns out I was wrong because you're not you Bernie Sanders you're still not you're still not able to get out in front at this point in the game you're losing you're losing and you're gonna hurt the country because Donald Trump is a guaranteed shoe in if it's not you I still hold to that. I don't think that Elizabeth Warren, no way. Even if Joe Biden, if they, they rig it where Biden is the president and uh, Elizabeth Warren vice president, I don't think that wins. I think it's a losing strategy. That's my opinion. You're, 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 putting, you're putting populist Trump against corporatist Biden, uh, 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 Elizabeth Warren. It's not going to work. She could say all the right things, but... Again, the smart people. The smart people know what's going on. So she took that money. She voted to increase the military spending and then turned around and said, Oh, if, you, if the question is, should we uh, reduce the military spending? Yeah, of course. But why did you vote against it? Why did you vote to increase the military spending and then turn around and say, Oh, we should decrease it? Because you're a turncoat. Because you look to the donors and you don't, you don't represent the people, Elizabeth Warren. She's for reparations for slaves. Give slaves money for for fucking you know antiquated 
200 year old issues in America over slavery, open borders, grab your gun, Hillary Clinton up her ass, right? Anti male. I did a video and I showed you that she's like, she says men didn't, had nothing to do with getting me to where I am. Nothing. Nothing. I owe you nothing, men. Fuck you, men. I hate penises. Fuck you. Vagina. Vagina in the White House. <laughs> so, she lied about her heritage. She's a Cherokee. Trump is going to be relentless. Look, if Trump, if you think Trump, if you think Trump will go low, right? If you think he's gone low already, <laughs> the man has no boundaries. He will go so low to derail anybody in front of him. And Elizabeth Warren is going to get annihilated by that. Forget about Biden. Biden is, is already fizzling out. He's not going to be able to sustain the punch going into the primary. He can't put 10 people in a room. But you, Bernie Sanders, can. And, the, and you're handing half of your crowd, now more than half, if we believe the fake polls. But forget about the polls. I'm basing it on my eyewitness, eyewitnessing what I saw in that park. I saw a lot of very sleepy-eyed, stupid people rallying, thousands of them, for Elizabeth Warren. Huh. <laughs> See, they figured it out, Bernie. You claim to be grassroots, and you sell that down. You sell that through the you know mainstream media, and it's like now it's canned. It's packaged. They took what you did in 2016 and packaged it. And now they're using it against you. Because why? Because in this country, the, the, the oligarchs don't want... They don't want um, universal single-payer health care for all. They don't want free college tuition at city and state universities. They don't want that. They don't want to decrease the military budget. They don't want to break up the banks or Big Pharma. They just say it because the people want it. Right? So here you are, Bernie. There's the crossing, the, the, the fork in the road. Do you, do you continue if you go that way? <laughs> Excuse me. If you go that way, <laughs> let me make sure I, I knock my shit out. So if you go that way, Bernie, right? What's, which way is that? That way is, is, oh, nice, nice, make nice, right? Make nice to Elizabeth Warren and then lose to Trump, <coughs> right? Lose to Trump. If you go that way, which is get rough, and stand on your own two fucking feet, you win. She's a Cherokee. All right, what else? Oh my God. CNN is calling for you to drop out, you fucking old jerk off. CNN is on TV. You got commentators, paid hacks, saying, oh, Bernie should drop out now. Oh, see, he fell, he fell behind uh, two points in our fake poll. And, and, and he should drop out. That's what they're doing to you, Bernie. And you're not calling it out. You're not calling it out aggressively. That's your campaign. Surround you, you're surrounding yourself with the wrong people. Get, get, what's Tim Canova? Get Tim Canova on your side. Get people that know the corruption that call it out. You need to change the strategy, man. This, <clears throat> this lovey-dovey, kissy-feely, kissy touchy-feely shit. It ain't working, man. So, Bernie Sanders, you're on notice because you're fizzling out, man. Nobody gives a shit about your shit. They think you're old and stupid and passe. They don't think you have any fight left in you, Bernie. They think you're going to go into the White House and you're going to need a nap every 10 minutes. That's how they're painting you in the media. And you don't prove it. You don't prove that you don't need a nap by going out saying the same thing five times a day until you blow your voice out. You go out there once and say, there is vile corruption in this country. In 2016, I was robbed. And this is how they did it. That's where you go. And you do it now before it's too late. No platitudes. Oh, universal health care. Oh, it's so beautiful. We're all going to be, you know, we're all going to rub eucalyptus on our naked bodies in Russia. And, and uh, smoke hookah. And everything's going to be lovely. No, you got to get, you see what I'm saying. You got to get real, man. It's time to get, 
it's time to get it's time to get rough or or whatever man you know you don't want to say that you wanted you didn't want Trump as the president but now you're handing it to Trump again because the two shit sandwiches it's too transparent Biden is so transparent that nobody believes him Elizabeth Warren is only transparent enough to fool the Democrats that wanted Hillary Clinton those stupid people are now getting behind Elizabeth Warren they would have gotten behind Camilla Harris but she's horrible so she's out so that's the scenario right now Bernie you could win but you don't win attacking shit sandwich Joe Biden you have to take Elizabeth Warren down and you got to do it hard and aggressive you got to frame her as Hillary Clinton You got to make, you got to sit, you got to look into the camera and say, when you see Elizabeth Warren, you see Hillary Clinton. That's all it is. Pair her to Hillary. She is Hillary Clinton. Elizabeth Warren is Hillary Clinton. 2.0. That's how you do it. Frame her as Hillary Clinton. Look, the next, you got to be, and again, very specific in your attacks. I gave you the attacks. Donor money in 2018. Voted to increase the military spending. Reparations, open borders, gun grabber, uh, anti-male, lied about our heritage. Start there. Those are starting points. All right? So the next debate is October 15. The next debate, October 15. Will Bernie Sanders grow a pair of balls and win? Will Bernie Sanders grow a pair of balls and, and beat, win this primary, become the Democratic nominee for President of the United States? On this traje trajectory right now, on this path that Sanders is on, I got to say no, because he's not, he's not producing, he's not doing it. He's not, yeah, there is a ground game. And there are people in place to make it happen in Iowa and across the country, but it's too, it can't be this methodical. You have to get the grassroots excited. I don't see that excitement for Bernie Sanders like I did in 2016 at all. I see it more of a shh and wait. Oh, the primary's coming up. Shh and wait. No. In 2000, leading into the primary last, last time around, Bernie Sanders was literally a rock star where people were putting my, all the art, artistic people, all the creative, whole creative community came together to promote Bernie Sanders. Right? They had the memes going. They had, you know, the, the music. Everybody was behind them, right? And, and then, you know, and, and it worked. It worked. It worked. He was, he won. He, he won the primary and was cheated and then failed to stand up for himself. People don't forget that. I thought maybe they would, but they didn't forget. And, but Bernie, like I said, the summation of this is it's not too late. It's the exact, the exact time is now to come out, put all your cards on the table, all your cards on the table and look right into the eye of the corruption. Hold on a second. Ah, uh, missed it. Missed it. Well, there was a red cardinal for us to see. There was a red cardinal. Where are you, red cardinal? <laughs> missed it. So, oh, Marcus Conti reporting. And a little worked up this morning. <clears throat> I want to see Bern I want to see a great country. I want to see our country move away from cor corporate oligarchy. F move away from you know corporate tyranny. Being ruled by a one percent ruling class. I want to see a a system of social programs that provide for the people and that people are 
financially stimulated and not just the banks. We gotta, we gotta clean up, clean up politics. Get the money out of politics. Maybe make a constitutional amendment to keep money out of politics and make bribery, bribery, illegal. Possibly right up there with treason. Make it very severe, very severe crime, and then prosecute those crimes. Clean up the pol, clean up politics. That's not going to happen with a. Elizabeth Warren or anybody like her. You got that one shot, Bernie. This is it. Because you know what? If Bernie Sanders doesn't win, you could kiss Green New Deal goodbye. You could kiss single-payer health care goodbye. You could kiss uh, dissolving student loans bye-bye. None of that's going to happen. You want to decrease the wars, the insurgency wars, Ain't gonna happen. Elizabeth Warren will just el escalate it. And so will Trump. Trump is Elizabeth Warren, is Biden. They are the same. But you, Mr. Sanders, had an original idea, which was rebellion, which was revolution. You called it our revolution. But that's fizzling out. Now that's a, a fart in the wind three, year, three and a half years later leading into the primary. So... Bernie Sanders in finality, if you don't get busy, we stay on Jones's farm and nothing changes. You will just be a, you'll be a 1969, 68 McCarthy. Remember that guy? He, he, he stood with the people and he stood with Robert Kennedy that got shot and, and Martin Luther King and he was on that side. And the other sleazy fuck on the other, uh, you know, the, the, whatever his name was. I forgot his name. <laughs> In 68, right, where the, where the party was divided. And those people, the, 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 uh, the radicals, the people that really were paying attention, left. And they never came back. And then the Republicans sweep, Nixon. Right? Nixon came in. Right? That's, Nixon, is, Nixon is Trump. Nixon is Trump. A divided Democratic Party gave us Trump. And it's still it's still like that. There's no real chance of chance of winning without real populism. Look at a Trump rally. You don't have to believe the cause. You don't have to believe a damn thing he says, but man, the people in the audience believe it. And that's all that matters going into an election. Mass appeal. Mass hysteria, humor. He gets out there and says, Pocahontas, and people fucking break, bust out laughing, and they go, and they support him, and they vote. Right? And that's just a goddamn reality right now. So Bernie Sanders, get tough. Get tough, or maybe take, take the advice of CNN. Drop out, man. Drop out. Maybe it's time to drop out already, Bernie. Fuck you. Fuck you. Why don't you drop out and support uh, Tulsi Gabbard? She's good. She's young. She's a woman. Get tough, Bernie. Marcus Conti reporting.